Hi, this is Larry. I'm going to show you how to um, put this together. First thing we want to find out is the common ratio, the thing that you multiply by each time. You can find that by dividing any term by the term before it. The second term divided by the first term, 16 divided by negative 8, is negative 2. That means we're going to multiply by negative 2 each time. So negative 2 is going to be raised to a power. It's going to be n minus 1. I'll, I'll show you how we can check that that's true. And um, we're going to multiply by the first term, which is negative 8. So the nth term equals the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1 power. OK, so let's just check that. Let's check if the fourth term, when n equals 4, so a sub 4 equals negative 8 times negative 2 to the n minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Negative 2 to the third is negative 8, so negative 8 times negative 8. That's 64. Let's see if the fourth term is 64. It is. So our formula works out right. And so let's apply it to a sub 15. Negative 8 times negative 2 to the 15 minus 1, which is 14. And um, I'll let you do that to find out what that is. I'll raise negative 2 to the 14. So that's going to be in a positive number. So it's the same as 2 to the 14. So 2 to the 14th times 8, and then throw a negative sign in front of it. And you've got it. I'm sure you can do that on your calculator. The key point is that a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio, which you can find out by dividing any term by the 1 before it, raised to the n minus 1 power. And the n minus 1 power is that to go to our, from, we have our first term, and then to go to our second term is when we start multiplying by the common ratio. So um, that's why there's an n minus 1, not an m. And you don't multiply that r until we're going to the second term. And then each time after that, we multiply by r. So there you go. I hope this makes sense. I'm going to follow this. You let me know if you have any question or comment or if you think I made a mistake. Thanks a lot. <laughs>